Yo, 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 yo. What's good with it, man? It's the homie Mac. Music, art, culture, knowledge. Reporting live from the Dogon. Dogon, 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 Dogon. <coughs> Each one, teach one. Peace and love. Um, thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, 82 Kings. Follow me on Instagram, at MacTV underscore 82. At, 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 at MacTV underscore 82. Um... This is a session of Mackin' with Mac. No, no, not Mackin' with Mac. This is a Mac Minutes. Mac Minutes. Mac Minutes episodes. Um, shout out to all my people in Detroit. Family, friends, loved ones. The whole, the whole mitten. But specifically my people in Detroit. East side, west side. Um, yeah. There was, a, there, was some rain, uh, there was some flooding in Detroit. <laughs> um, but my people are good. All as well. But real quick, uh, for this session of Mac Minutes, I want to talk about uh, the state of mental health of black people. And I want to say, uh, you know, this, this Mac Minutes is not going to be very long, but it's going to be uh, to the point. Um, was it Khalid Muhammad? I think he said, I won't be long, but I will be strong. Facts. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, I guess all encompassing, uh, the first recorded documentation of, of, uh, of, uh, stolen Africans or enslaved people, enslaved people, enslaved Africans that came, uh, to the new world, um, America, U.S. soil was 1619 came to the, uh, Virginia was the first colony of the, of the crown, the crown, um, which is what, British, British rule, British rulership, um, how do I say it, um, the first enslaved Africans came here on U.S. soil in 1619, first documentation, though I think, you know, it, this was going on prior to that, 1619, but the, the, the documentation, 1619, Virginia, um, since that documentation, since we've been here on U.S. soil, um, ADOS, we've been through a perpetual struggle. Um, for a while, we weren't even classified as human beings. Uh, some people thought we were soulless, um, essentially just uh, animals. And I guess when you look at, within the scientific scope of things, we are all part of the animal kingdom, uh, irrespective of hue, creed, color, whatever, um, nationality, whatever. And from a scientific sense, some, from a scientific sense, all all human organisms are a part of the animal kingdom. But there is something that delineates humans from uh, a lot of other animals that roam the earth. That delineation is centered around mental capacity. Black people have had to. Uh, Fight to be recognized as human beings. Fight to recognize us as being, um, having the mental capacity to function as human beings. You know, um, the way that a lot of people, a way that a, a lot of the uh, Europeans justified their slavery, or the, the enslavement of, uh, of African people was to say that um, a lot of African people did not have the mental capacity to control their own destiny. So in, in, in a sense, they needed the slave master because the slave master centered them, gave them a purpose, and gave them direction. Um, and then, you know, um, when you add on the whole religious aspect of Christianity, uh, cr Christianity misunderstood, misappropriated, um, it was used to further, uh, I guess, substantiate or justify the enslavement. Christianity misunderstood. Christianity uh, repurposed, mispurposed. But that's a whole nother conversation. Shout out to the Jew 3 Project. But that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but yeah, essentially, um, African Americans, ADOS, uh, black people, 
this the I mean, there's so many different some people d define us with different terminology. Uh, but the bottom line is we have been we fought to be acknowledged as human beings. Um, once our humanity was recognized on paper, uh, but let me say this: uh, to this day, I don't think our our humanity is recognized in full. But in theory, um, once we were, I guess, the Emancipation Proclamation, 1863, June 10th, 1865, um, uh, the Freedmen's Bureau, uh, we were newly freed. Air marks. Um, we went through a lot of hell after that. Uh, vagrancy laws, Jim Crow laws. There were there were things that were created to to keep us perpetually at the bottom caste, to keep us perpetually disenfranchised economically, socially, spiritually. Um, our personage was just not acknowledged. Um, and you're dealing with with people who are just the descendants of generations and generations of trauma. You know, I remember going to Mississippi and my, my, my grandfather telling me stories of, you know, black men being captured by white mobs and uh, having their penises cut off, having their tongues cut out, fingers cut, cut off, and um, white people would put it in their house like it was game. Like, you know, you have some people who they hunt and they put like a, they'll put a buck's head in their house or just some type of animal. They'll put it in their house like a prize. They did that to us. You know, put our penises, fingers, um, in mason jars. And the crazy thing is, uh, they would go to church. They would go to church after. They would go to church before that and then leave church, have cookouts, barbecues, whatever, picnics. Y'all know the science behind picnic. And just act as if it's all good. We love the Lord. Um, and we're just going to destroy a whole nother people because that's God's will. Um, yeah, but, all, you know, I don't want to go there. There's a lot I want to say about that. Um, yeah, cr Christianity misappropriated is very dangerous. Religion mis misappropriated is very dangerous. Um, as, in the words of Nas, religion misunderstood is, misoverstood is poison. Um, but yeah, um, we have been in a situation where, you know, again, our humanity is not acknowledged, um, where there has been economic movements, policy that has been created to keep us at a perpetual bottom caste. Um, you know, the Great Migration, when a lot of us migrated from the South to the North, Chicago, Detroit, New York, D.C., Waterloo, Iowa, um, Los Angeles. Um, we weren't granted home loans. We weren't given the we weren't given the, the grace or the capital uh, for loans. And anyone who you know, if you understand how wealth, well, how uh, the accumula accumulation of wealth is fomented, a lot of times it's through home ownership, home ownership. And so it's like we're not even. Uh, given access, we're, we're cut off from, we're systemically cut off from gaining wealth. We're systemically cut off from becoming self-determined. Um, when I think about the things my people have been through before I came to this earth, I think it is a miracle that we're still here. I think it speaks to our strength. It speaks to uh, our indomitable spirits. We're still here. Um, you have races of people who have come together under oppression and committed mass suicides. Black people, we still here, man. Testament to our strength. Um, but my thing is, I don't think that's necessarily anything to brag about <laughs> because at the end of the day, uh, you can't scream justice, equity, equality, all this other stuff. Um, but choose to disenfranchise a people. Politically, economically, socially. Um... My pushback is, I think the idea of America, home of the brave, freedom, justice for all, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, I think that's very beautiful in theory. Um, that has not always manifested from Freedmen's Bureau till now. It's two, it's 2021. And um, there still are state-sanctioned murders, a.k.a. police brutality. You know, that's still going on. That's still a thing. Um... 
and again, I just think about the different, the different. On the, the, we've been attacked on the spiritual front, on the economic front, on a political front. There just been so many fronts that Black life has had to, has been fought on. I think it is a miracle that we're not all crazy. It's a miracle that we're we're not all in straitjackets. Or that we haven't all just lost our mind and just flipped out and just <laughs> Yeah, created y'all don't yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just say that. It's a miracle. Um And I guess like this is not a uh Whoa, it's us, we're victims. No, I'm just pointing out the things that we've been through. And it's like, it, uh, like, like most of the things that we've encountered, most people could not have endured. And I think uh, at the end of the day, I want black people to have more grace with one another because epi, epi, epigenetics is real. You know, just how you, and I look like my grandmother. Um, just as I've inherited uh, physical characteristics, I've also inherited trauma. Trauma, 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 trauma. Uh, there's this thing called ancestral mathematics where you break down two grandparents, no, four, wait, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and so on and so forth. And then at the end of the meme, it, it just said how, you know, you've inherited a lot of uh, the trauma in your DNA, the, the victories in your DNA, just different things that, that, that your um, progenitors incur incurred. Different things that your progenitors incurred is in your DNA. Um, and note, I just said, you know, we've been through Matt, we've been through lynchings, political disenfranchisement, economic disenfranchisement, uh, social <laughs> disenfranchisement. That stuff, you know, dealing with that trauma, it coats your DNA and you pass that trauma on. Um, yeah. And I just think it's a miracle. I want black people, we need to be kind to each other, be patient with each other, and try to build with each other. Dr. Colin Muhammad said, uh, one of the things I mentioned, well, before I go there, one of the things I mentioned was one of the ways we've been disenfranchised is spiritually. And when I say spiritually, I mean your mind, your ability to process yourself, the ability to um, see yourself as God created you to be. We've been disenfranchised. And um, how do I say it? <laughs> um, it's, it's just at a point where We become isolated and separated from ourselves, and our identity of self has been just broken asunder and been replaced with some BS. Um, so yeah, I'm, it, one of the things Dr. Colin, Dr. Colin Muhammad said was um, the best way to counteract the alien culture is to embrace yourself and create your own, be true to your own. Um, but this is a session of Mac Minutes. Um, Black people, let's love each other. Let's be patient with each other. Let's be kind to each other. Let's build with each other. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, to the YouTube channel, 82 Kings, at MacTV underscore, at MacTV underscore 82 on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, we, we are a broken people, but we're still putting them... We're still putting the pieces together. Like my homie got the shattered his the shattered glass theory. You know, where black people symbolically are like this big slab of glass that has been broken. And um sometimes we, we can put some of the pieces together, but as a whole we've struggled to get it all together on one front. Um but you gotta keep struggling. Gotta keep fighting. Um and I and I don't like the idea of black life being always defined in proxy to trauma but the fact of the matter is when you stop struggling you stop life you just got to keep going uh, we have to figure it out like-minded black people need to build together um yeah um thumbs up give me the likes thumbs up give me the likes but yeah i th this you know the, the world has the world has definitely uh <laughs> Loved us and hated us at the same time and been envious of us. Um, but at this time, just this moment, I'm just, I just want black people to embrace one another. Build with one another. That's what we need to focus on. That's where the healing can start. 
epigenetics is real. There's a lot of trauma, but we can't stay in that place. We have to acknowledge the things that have been done to us and uh, move forward. Create change. And I, and I know that uh, sounds good, but there has to be forward progression. It's the homie Mag Man. Signing out from the Dogon. Each one, teach one. Peace and love. Peace and love. I'm out.